Welcome back you guys. If you have seen my video um, on what I made last week, I was gonna, just going to continue the video of basically me just going over that box that I spent $50 on. This box right here. So we're going to continue to see if we can find, if we, if I waste $50 on this box or whatnot. I don't know what else is on this box. I was just helping out a kid. So hopefully we can find something good. Hopefully that I can find something good. So we're just going to go ahead and move this to the side. And we're going to go through. These are the recent things I found already. Um, some hollows, some uh, trick or trades hollows. The only thing that I found so far is a Spanish Mewtwo. Probably not even worth as much since there's a crease on the bottom left. And a hollow, uh, of course, um, scratched up on the hollow part. So I'm probably gonna get what ten dollars out of that. So we're just gonna continue to see. Man, look at this card. It's just wow. Just gonna continue to see if we can find something good. I mean, I do like this holographic energy. This one do actually have work. So have some work on there. This one, mm, this is much more modern. Except the what do you call this? The fairy one? I don't mind getting the fairy one. I don't know why I... Uh, man, they're so damaged. All these vintage base cards. I mean, it is a kid owned. Uh, so I couldn't complain much. I knew... I should have known what I was getting myself into, right? So... Ooh, look at that. Wow. What happened there? <laughs> okay, some e-readers. I do... This is the reason why I also like it. Because some of these e-reader cards. Those are actually some good, good cards to um, to find from this box set. I'm hoping that I could find something else that's actually. I know he probably doesn't have anything good of an e-reader, but lots of damage cards. I just throw away the damage cards. Not worth my time anymore. Like, but like I did like like I did say I, I have bought a lot of commons and commons and non hollow rare bulks. Uh, I have listed some of them so far. I, I think I've listed 25,000. I still have like, ah, maybe I'll, on top of my head, probably another 60, 70,000 bolts that I got to list. I did purchase some uh, higher end, not, not too high, but like a little bit up there. So that way, once I get this listed, I'll be listing those next. Because I do have, man, look at all that crease. I, I don't even know if that's heavy play or what, but you read the card though. So yeah, I do. I, this is basically my, what do you call this? My capital gainer right here, right? I sell this common box to build capital. Is it fast? No. Um, not at all. But if you put some time into it, you do get your money back. At least some money back from this thing. Man, there's a lot of creases on this stuff. I gotta be careful listing those. Oh man, look at that Iggly buff. <laughs> Such a nice card. Anyways, I have been promoted to level 4 on TCG Player. There's a grime on that sucker. Um, it did took... How long? I started in February. It's June now. So it did took quite a few months. I'm just gonna throw this away. What a shame. It did took three months four months yeah, March April May yeah four months almost four months it did took that long for me to actually become a level four and immediately the moment the soon as soon as I got level four I actually got rid of the uh, shipping charges but I did had to raise my price my my asking price for any bulk so I did raise the prices on those so that it'll compensate for the amount of Loss, I will take. Oh, look at that. This was a little better version of that e reader card. I'll take that. Ooh, I don't know anything about sports card, but that's all creased up. I'll google that, whatever. Um, like I said, if you guys find any code cards, don't even waste your time writing down the codes. I use them by the time that this video is gone. It's the code's been used, so save your time on that, anyways. So, yeah, it took me about four months to get from level. 1 to level 4 on TCG player. Uh, did I regret uh, taking that long? No, absolutely not. I wanted to see how it feels like, how the business would be like um, when I do sell on TCG player. So 
Is it doable? Yes. Is it time consuming? Absolutely. Do I recommend doing this if you have no time? No. <laughs> I will not recommend it, you guys. If you guys have no time, because it is very time consuming. I'm telling you that right now. Uh, organizing these bulks and stuff like that. Well, that's probably a near mint um, energy right there. But, but um, organizing them. I try to, I, I, I don't rush how I organize my card. I try to list at least 2,000 cards a day, at least on TCG Player. But as you can see, two months in TCG Player and I've listed 25,000 cards. That tells you how hard it is, right? So, um, but I did, however, build some capital using or selling bulks and stuff. So, I'm, I don't regret it. I did get some of my money back. From spending too much money on 151 but I did not get all of it back so oh nice like those hollow ones so not too bad I mean I'm, I'm not complaining and if you notice if you guys have watched my videos I have sold um, I've only sold books like no reverses except for, uh, from, for from eBay you know um, I have sold a lot of common bulks. I have not even... Ooh, that's nice. That's a fair energy. Um, no reverses. Hollows, maybe. Some hollows for the modern sh set. Like uh, um, uh, Scarlet and Violet. I have sold those hollows. Because, yeah, they're just regular hollows. They're not like crazy hit hollows. So, I'm seeing some basic cards. I mean, some, some older cards in this one. So, maybe I got my money back. Maybe. I don't know. So we do have some Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Some modern stuff. Very nice. Very, very nice. So the way I do this is I literally... Um, when it comes to like... Ah, oh, look at that Nidorino. Such a damage card. That's garbage. This is what you consider damage. This is not heavily played. <laughs> that is damage card right there. Oh my gosh. That's a fake card also. Is it? I'm not sure. I don't know if you know how to tell. Let me see. Let me rip an energy card. Yeah, this one's white. This one's brown. The paper is not even the same. You can see the backing. I knew that was going to be a fake card. But I, the backing tells it all. Alrighty. Where was I? I don't even know what I was talking about. So, yeah. I, I lost my, my thought, you guys. <laughs> oh, shoot. But yeah. Am I going to list... I don't, let me see if this is fake. Nope. Am I gonna list the um, single cards? Absolutely. I'm probably gonna sell it on eBay though, because it's a better return. Um, I'm, I am gonna build a website for them. Oh, look at that base. Not a base. A Neo Revelation. Maybe. I can't remember. Um, I am gonna be putting it on my website so that way I don't. I, I can sell it a lot cheaper and I don't have to pay fees for eBay. As much because uh, eBay does take 13%, 13.25 or 0.75% plus 2.5% for like transaction stuff, something like that. Um, I have been selling on eBay for a while, so it's not really 13%. It's de definitely, uh, man, that's a damage syndical. Too bad. Um, what do you call this? So it's, it's about 17% plus. Uh, the 30 cent fees per transaction so they take the uh, eBay does take a lot of fees same thing with the uh, TCG players so I'm trying to build a website over there trying to make a lot of a lot more capital for me to actually because I do have to pay 30 bucks for that man look at that damage card I do have to pay 30 bucks a month for a basic um, website that's a fake card you can clearly see <laughs> the way it rips too it's more crispy um, so I do have to pay 30 bucks for that a month and that's a fake card I think no um, for for me to run a website and I have way too many hobbies for me to actually start that right now and I have I am still <laughs> I am still doing my renovation for this house we just moved in this house last year so we're we move all our stuff, but right now uh, I am changing it because it is an old house. So I had to redo all the pipings, all the um, 
plumbings basically at this point I have to redo the what do you call this the lighting because it was outdated so I transitioned the switches from the you know how the switches run to the plug you know I had to do that I had to run the wires from the outlet and from the switch to the ceiling so that way um, I could just use the switch to activate the light instead of me just buying a lamp or whatever this, those stand lamps whatever you call those things yeah so it's it's a lot of work especially I've been doing it by myself um, yeah <laughs> so let's go back into this thing let's I'm get talking out of topic now now do I see myself uh, grading cards yes I will be getting my hands on those I, I do have some cards that I do want to grade uh, my grading skills I mean inspecting cards is not it's not good it's not like you know up there or like I could immediately say this is 10 I, I am not good at that I wish I could say that I am but I guess I gotta get some experience because what I think of uh, 10 is actually an 8 I had a, uh, I took it to a card shop to help me actually identify the, the, the issue. They helped me out to see how to actually, how to look at the cards and stuff like that. And boy, was I was wrong. <laughs> what I thought of a, a nine actually is a five. What I thought of a 10 is actually is an eight. So there is a lot of stuff that I gotta look at when it comes to Pokemon. Stuff. Look at this fake card. Is this fake? Yep, that's all fake. Look at it. Meh. <laughs> okay, we do have some base set Abra right here. That one's actually legit. We do have a fossil. Neither oh, jungle Nidoran. I'm sorry. Not a fossil. So there are some vintage cards in here that actually might give you my money back. Look at that e reader card. Definitely such a shame. Oh, these are fake anyway. See? I can tell the backing. You can see. I don't know. You can see the backing. Oh wait, no, this one's actually legit. That one was fake. All right, so we got some energy spinner. What else? Ooh, nice. I like this one. This one actually do sell. So, whew. So the way I, I, uh, what do you call this? I calculated my cards for taxes. Let's just go that way since I got nothing to talk about now. I should make a, a bullet point when I talk to you guys. Oh, this is a separate card. That's actually for my personal stuff. I was looking for those. <laughs> so the way I, 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 I calculated my cards is I count how many cards are in there, are there in a bulk. And I basically divide the cost of the box, like for example, $50. And if there's 1,000 cards in here, then I'll take $50 divided by 1,000. Uh, and that would give me the... That would give me the value of... What do you call this? The cards. So they're probably like what? Mm, three cents a card here right now. So even if I were to sell it for like 10 cents, I still get my money back. But it will take some time. It will take some time on that stuff. But anyways, I'm just continuously going through this. Nothing. I have not found anything good besides the e-readers. And to those who are actually more knowledgeable when it comes to the vintage stuff, do let me know if I find something good from this box because I don't know anything except that one. See this one, these are the vintage energy, they do sell. If I list them, they actually do sell. This one I sold a, a few of, not not too bad. So I actually sold one, a few of these this week. That's why one of my sales was actually really good. So I do see some money money worth um it just of course having the pay patience of doing it i like this energy though that's a very nice steel energy i'm gonna pull that out let me see the condition nope condition you can see the edges that's really bad back is off cut corners are white so not eh, but it still sell yeah i still sell not a lot of money though. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Getting excited now. I'm not even halfway through this thing. So, yep, I'm gonna pause the video. 
I'm just gonna go go through this thing and if I find something amazing I'll play the video again if not um, I'll probably say uh, thanks for watching video I'll see you guys in a little bit okay so after going through all that card I was able or bulk I was able to fill up a one and a half ETV full of bulk along with some vintage energy right here some classic energies they do sell believe it or not especially the fairy ones um, a handful not really a handful probably a few dozen of e-readers don't know why that's there so a few e-reader trainers I was hoping to see to find the Pokemon cards but or some Pokemon e-readers that did not happen we do have some uh, probably less than a dozen of vintage cards this I did not expect I did not expect to actually find this um, V cards in this bulk so that's actually something different I did find one magic the gathering nulled hunter whatever out of that was out of place I believe <laughs> and these are the hollows so just your average basic hollows right there all right had to stop the video had a phone call anyways had a star me butterfree uh, radiant this one surprised me radiant heat trend did not expect that to be there but I'll take it some Adaman, more Pico I did uh, I am glad that I found this because this actually does sell this confis but I gotta list it fast because uh, this that will run out of rotation very very quickly so here are the reverses right so these are the reverse hollows nothing out of the ordinary just your basic reverses right I did get a, a few dozens of those probably three dozen and our holographic energy right here which does sell I just gotta have to put sleeves on it now because um, I mean I don't want to scratch them up okay and then we do have some Yu-Gi-Oh cards here I do have to throw away this brain control because there's a punctured right there this kid got a lot of uh, anger issue but anyways <laughs> There's that, I remember playing that card back in the day, Mount Monster Reborn. This is the only Hollows that's in here, which is pretty much heavy played. Beast King Barbaros, or Barbados, whatever. Used to play that. So this is what I got from that stuff, and two sports cards. All right, well, if you guys like this video, let me know. I will post the rest of the bulk finds that I found, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.